He's the winningest women's tennis coach in LSU history and among the most respected college coaches in the country. So what's Tony Minnis up to now? He's making a college visit of his own. He's really good at dancing. This is your all access ticket. Inside College Tennis. This episode of Inside College Tennis is brought to you in part by Nike Tennis Camps. Welcome to Inside College Tennis. I'm Tony Minnis. This week we're in Minneapolis at the University of Minnesota in their award-winning baseline tennis facility, which is also known as the epicenter of tennis in the North. Golden Gopher Tennis is huge at the University of Minnesota. It's steeped in tradition and infused with community support. The reasons, the coaches, the players, and the place where the magic happens, the Baseline Tennis Center. Hey, juice them up, Jules, juice them up. And leading the teams are two well-respected and experienced coaches, both with winning records and impressive collegiate careers of their own. Stay low and ready. There you go. Lean in. Chuck Mersbacher, a former Golden Gopher, who still holds the record for most matches won at the University of Minnesota, returned home two years ago to lead the women. Uh, how'd you win so many matches? Well, we played a lot more back then, you know. I mean, it was uh, an endless schedule, and we just kept going and going and going. So, you know, I, there was something to that record where we just played a lot. But, you know, I'm very proud of that record, and, and uh, you know, just love being back here at the University of Minnesota. I mean, this is, I'm pinching myself every day. When I bring people to campus, they're always amazed by how beautiful the school is. You have a campus life here, and then a mile away you have a beautiful downtown. So you know you have the best of everything. It's a pretty neat place to be, and I'm you know I'm walking the same routes that I walked when I was going to school here. The infrastructure here, I mean, they added that light rail, which is wonderful, and goes to downtown uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, and goes to the Mall of America and to the airport. We have 10 girls on the team. Only one has a car. So everything is just so very accessible. The cool thing is I saw Barry Manilow in concert in that place right there. I just, that dates me right there. I mean, Barry Manilow was the man back then, let me tell you. Barry Manilow, that's yep. a name from the yep. past. Huh? Yeah. Like when you serve to the body. What Head the men's body? coach Jeff Young has been at Minnesota for nine years. His collegiate career began at Northwestern University, followed by an assistant coaching position at Alabama, and then the head coaching job at University of Denver, where he met two important people. Wife Dana, a former Golden Gopher, and Urban Lubitsch. You know, Jeff, the most important factor of any coaching position is probably your assistant coach, huh? Sounds like you've got a great one. It's extremely important. In this job, you, if you, you have to kind of sink your life into it to some degree. I've been really fortunate enough that if, if uh, Urban takes off someday, I, I might forget how to do this because as long as I've been doing it, we, we've kind of been doing it together, which is kind of cool. So we, we both have a, a very good understanding of each other and, and we kind of, it's like a well-oiled machine. You know, the Baseline Tennis Center has been ahead of its time. What are your visions in the future for the men and women's tennis program? Well, tennis is, very, is a huge part of our, of our future. I'm very proud of, of the programs that, that uh, Jeff and Chuck have. Um, we've been very successful. You know, Tony, it's just the support and the depth of support and the, uh, the amount of people who care about Gopher Tennis is amazing. Not just alumni. All over the Twin Cities, all over the state of Minnesota, people really care and there's a long history behind uh, Gopher Tennis. A focal point of that history was in 2002, a time when Minnesota tennis was played at clubs around Minneapolis, until supporters were inspired to take action and help build the Baseline Tennis Center to effectively bring tennis back to campus. Much of the inspiration came from one booster in particular, Bob McNamara. He was an All-American football player here 
has a banner up there behind Court 4 and was largely responsible for raising the funds to help pay for this building. Independent of the resources that he raised for our program, he was an unbelievable person. He was someone that I always wanted to sit next to at whatever function we were having. Under Young's leadership, the Minnesota men have made seven NCAA tournament appearances in the last nine years. And this year's team could be his best yet. Early indications show results-wise that it's, it's looking good as of now. So if we can stay healthy and keep on the right path of always trying to get better, then we'll see. But I'm optimistic and pretty excited. Up next on Inside College Tennis. Find out what pulled women's coach Chuck Mersbacher back to his alma mater and meet who he calls his best sign here at Minnesota. We got everybody. What brought you back here to the University of Minnesota? I've always wanted to give back to, to the U. You know, this place just kept pulling on me through my coaching career and the opportunity to get back was just, it was amazing. You know, one of the things I think coaches around the country admire about you is you seem to have it in perspective as far as not only the tennis, but the academics and, and developing the players. Well, I had such a wonderful experience here at the University of Minnesota under Jerry Noyce. And it was just about doing your best in every aspect of your life. You know, just going for it. You know, academically and athletically, like just to see as much as you can do. That's our goal, you know, here. Every kid is just, let's, let's, let's try to do the best we can in every aspect of our life. Let's see how far we can go. I know that I personally just never would have had the success if it wasn't for the University of Minnesota and our tennis programs. Um, you know, so, you know, that's, that's how I feel about it. Whitney and I, um, our associate head coach, we're on the court together on every individual hit that we have. Whitney Tawney is a tennis legend in the state of Minnesota. Her accolades include a 166-0 record at Edina High School, followed by a successful collegiate career at Michigan, and now as associate head women's coach for the Golden Gophers. She's into the development part wants them to get better as tennis players, she wants them to get better as people. So um, it, that was my best sign ever as, as the coach here at the University of Minnesota, is making sure that Whitney Tani was here in place. And she's competitive, doesn't want to lose the doubles point just like me, so I love that part. So, you know, I think, um, you know, that all the pieces are in place right here. Whitney, it's nice workout, she's good. She's yeah. very good. Yeah, Teresa is a really solid player for us. You know, I noticed you were working a lot on transition. Yeah, I feel like a, a lot about transition is kind of the anticipation, feeling it when you got your opponent in trouble and seeing them kind of, you know, going to go more higher with the ball and then you can look to take that ball out of the air or recognizing a short ball and, you know, the weak reply and getting up to it quickly, taking time away and just looking to come in and try to finish your points up at the net. You're not that far removed from playing college tennis. How does that help you with relating to the girls? It helps a lot, you know. Um, that's why I feel like Chuck and I have like a great balance of, you know, with me being a little bit younger, closer age to the girls and, you know, just relating. And I just try to take my experiences that I learned in college and what I learned from my coaches and transition it into now being a coach and teaching these girls kind of what I went through and what helped me and everything like that. You know, it seems like there's a cohesiveness within the Minnesota tennis family. You guys are very close and tight and do a lot of things for each other. Well, you really can't be successful, I think, if, unless, if you're divided. You know, we're, uh, we're a family, we're together on this. That's like the, the greatest thing about it is, you know, Minnesota tennis has been, really been a community thing. And, uh, you know, so I think that's, that's what where we have to be here. And, um, and, and that's what you see. So here's a question for you. What other coach in the country has a court name for him? <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Is that a little intimidating for opponents when they come in and they see the Chuck Myers? Well, I just tell my team, don't lose on that court. <laughs> I don't know if they want to be on that court. According to Mersbacher, 
Fall is the time to get strong for the spring season of weekly dual matches. So the place to be? Here we go, nation. The weight room. Ready, go. How do you find the adjustment from kids that come to high school? and then they get in your weight conditioning program. Is it pretty tough for them or do they adjust pretty well? So once they get on a court with someone that might be four years older than them or even five years older than them, that they realize that they just, they need to be in here. Yeah. They play that first tournament and they're like, whoa, you know, the ball's traveling pretty quick. And, uh, you know, I need to get, be able to, to launch a ball, you know, just as hard as it's coming at me, I, what do I need to do? Okay, so busy day today. We're gonna go, we're gonna use the five courts. Chuck Mersbacher's coaching style focuses on development of the whole person, rather than the number of wins and losses on court. You know, you're a veteran coach. You've been in this over 20 years. You know, your teams have always been successful making the tournament numerous times. What's your philosophy with getting teams to play at that level? Well, we're focused on the individual having a great experience and then putting that in a team environment. And I think that's, you know, what we really want. You can get a great education here at Minnesota, 140 degrees. And at the same time, you can be the best tennis player you can be. You're going to have some great wins, some tough losses along the way. But we're focusing in on, on, on each kid getting a, just a great experience to do the whole thing and uh, getting better at, at and maturing. You just get that total package when you come to the University of Minnesota. Up next on Inside College Tennis, what Coach Jeff Young feels are the keys to performing your best, and meet Minnesota All-American Leandro Toledo. Look, you have to stay with who you are as a player. Jeff Young is in his ninth year as head coach of the Minnesota men, and he says expectations are high for this year's Golden Gophers. What makes you so excited? What about this team? Is it different from the others to where you feel like this could be a top match team? I think this team, the way they compete, well, first of all, we have four seniors. So there are some guys that have been through the program and they have learned a lot and understand what we're trying to do here. And I really try to stress that it's about trying to play your best tennis. And you were and talking to me before about your philosophy of development. The key to performing at your best is to make good decisions under pressure. And beyond that, we must manage our emotions in a way that let us keep our self-awareness and the ability to keep our a good effort, a good attitude as a priority. And if you're not making a concerted effort to learn, even under the most tough circumstances, then you're probably gonna be going backwards. And we teach that to that here. So my question to you is, do you teach a psychology course besides Coach the Team here? Because you seem to really know what you're talking about. No, I, I don't teach a psychology class, although some guys in the team might differ. They might say I do. Much of the team excitement evolves around senior Leandro Toledo, the first All-American for the Minnesota men since 2002. How would you describe the culture here at the University of Minnesota as far as your tennis team's concerned? Uh, as long as far as the team concerns, it's a pretty familiar atmosphere. It's not that we're just teammates, but we're really good friends. So even off the court, we're spending a lot of time together. I really like that. That's one big part of the team. What brought you to Minnesota? What's so special about this place? I had two really good friends, two of my really best friends went here already as players at the tennis program. So I, it was easy for me to get a connection with the coaches and I even got to know people from the team before I even considered going to college. So that was a big help for me, is meeting people already. Essential to Coach Young is cultivating an environment that allows players to learn how to accept responsibility for their play. We want the players to be able to take ownership in their development, not just in themselves, but ownership in the development of the team. If we're interested in maximizing the results, then we need to really pay close attention to how we are each day. That's, 
a little bit of a cliche, but that's paying attention to the process. And that is what wins. How do you keep them grounded, moving forward, trying to sure. compete for a title? Without a strong belief in yourself and your abilities, you have no chance of finding out how good you can be. We spend a lot of our time on the team talking about how we want to be. We talk about developing more effective leaders. And what we want to communicate to the players is that everyone on the team is a leader. If they hit a really hard ball right here, they need to understand that in order for us to be at our best, we need everyone to be contributors, not just participants. But you don't have to net to worry about, and you can have some space here. Do you know that he attributes you to the academic success of the team? I try to, to keep a tab on if the guys are doing well, if they're going to class, if they're doing things that they should be doing, making sure that they, their homeworks are done, making sure that they're you know, going to exams, and um, also checking their grades, because academic success, in our opinion, is as important as the success in tennis. Now what's amazing to me is you played for him at Denver and you still followed him here? Yeah, I did. It's a great relationship and I love it. We're just uh, two guys trying to make our team better. What's your thoughts on your team this year? How do you feel? Very excited. Very excited about everyone that is on the team. We have a mix of seniors and some freshmen and uh, you know the, the, the guys right now have been doing unbelievable in the fall and I think with the same same work mentality and, and working hard uh, we can accomplish great things but it doesn't come without work. Coach Young believes one of the first things to go with on-court fatigue is presence of mind. Strengthening exercises have become an integral part of player development not only to increase physical stamina but mental as well. We've switched up our program a little bit for this fall, so it's not lifting weights in, in the traditional sense that one might think of it as. So it's a lot of sort of strength cardio, so you're doing a, a lot of different types of exercises, and the guys are gassed when they leave, that's for sure. Coming up on Inside College Tennis, two alums still singing the praises of Minnesota tennis, and meet some of the first Merzbacher Tawny recruits. Unique to University of Minnesota tennis is the Baseline Tennis Center. Besides being home to Golden Gopher Tennis. So this room right here, this is the hallway right before you go to the courts. Um, this is basically our Hall of Fame room. It's a showpiece for tennis program pride. We have a unique program here because the culture is really about all of the guys on the team being leaders rather than just the coaches. So. Urban and Jeff aren't the guys just telling us what to do. We've also, we're all responsible for each other. How do you go about doing that? How do you get it? I think we go about doing that by making sure each person is accountable for each other. Uh, we don't have captains on this men's tennis team, but we believe that everyone should be a captain. And going into practice every single day, each, each person should strive to become the best tennis player they can be and help each other out doing that. And we feel that um, that will give us the best uh, end result at the end of the day. Good feet. There you go. So you are the distinction of being the first recruit in the Chuck Mersbacher, Whitney Tawney uh, era. What made you decide to come from Ontario uh, to Minnesota? Uh, well, the athletics in the United States are a lot bigger, and um, I came on a visit here and automatically loved it. Uh, the academics and the athletics here are both so strong, and it was a perfect balance of what I wanted. When you think about you know, your experience last year on the tennis team, uh, what makes your team so close and cohesive? Uh, I think we're all always there for each other. We all work really hard. The coaches, like, they're always there for us, and practice is so much fun. They make us work hard, but it's fun at the same time, so it's just great. For student athletes, the accessibility of the courts to their dorms, campus, and downtown Minneapolis is a definite advantage. Okay, so this is one of the study lounges. There's several study lounges on this floor. 
So we have a really nice view of the courts up here and just a really great view of the campus. We've got Dinky Town over there, which is a lot of where the foods are, where the food is. And then we have a view of downtown Minneapolis right there. And it's just like a really nice, like you can see how close we are to the courts. For freshman recruits Mevish Softar and Caroline Ryba, the decision to attend the University of Minnesota was an easy one. I think the coaches are fantastic. They were a big like deciding factor for me and um, academics too. I'm looking at engineering and the engineering program here is great. So it just was a good fit. Everyone around here, I feel like I'm supported by everybody that I talk to. Everybody wants to see me succeed and everyone wants to, everyone's like on my side, which is just really nice. I came in and I'm still undeclared. So I'm not really sure what I want to do, but Minnesota is like a good place for that, like for an undecided major because there's so many options to choose from and I know I have like a bunch of majors to explore through. You guys are recent graduates and you played for Jeff a few years ago. Why don't each of you tell me about your experiences? The experience here was definitely life-changing. I mean, you talk about hard work, discipline, leadership, self-motivation. Um, those are things I put to work every day. You see all the time how coaches are, are telling players things, um, but here not so much. It was more how do I how do I, do I get an understanding of, of what the player wants, and let me be a support system in making that possible. Jeff always encouraging us to you know do the extra things and and making sure that you know it's all in our control and whatever we do, we do the right way and everything else is going to come by itself. And I think I. I, I embraced it over the last years, and so far it has helped me uh, beyond college as well. And I need an honest answer here, because I was watching them practice today. Can you guys still hang with the current players? Definitely. <laughs> On or off the court. <laughs> the University of Minnesota tennis program is about being the best you can be, on or off the court. It's in a Golden Gophers DNA, and the lasting legacy for alumni is living life the way you play tennis. I'm Tony Menace. Join me next time on Inside College Tennis. Inside College Tennis has been brought to you in part by Nike Tennis Camps.